I think that if you think about a kind of parallel circumstance, and I think it's unimaginable for us in the United States to think of this, if you could just imagine, for example, Mexico with um, a historic foe of the United States, like Russia, conducting massive military exercises south of the United States border and in its surrounding waters, and um, that simulate an invasion of the United States and um, a joint Mexico and uh, Russian occupation of the United States, including simulations of nuclear first strikes. I mean, it's difficult to conceive that the U.S. wouldn't regard that as an act of hostility and aggression, and indeed North Korea does. And I think that one thing to know about these war games is that last year, um, in the wake of Kim Jong-il's death, the U.S. implemented something along with its South Korean ally called O-Plan 5029. O-Plan 5029 is an operational plan that, um, you know, and, and it's, it's enacted during these war games. And basically, they simulated um, a regime collapse scenario of North Korea. And when a South Korean official um, was asked about this, he said that the death of Kim Jong-il represented vulnerability on the part of North Korea and therefore a good time to implement that type of war scenario.